And then we arrived. So, who's the suit? He's a consultant. Good morning, comrades. My job is to observe, to streamline, to improve. <laughs> For those who work remotely, you have one hour to get here or you'll be terminated. My first question is, I, I know, like, this, this course for you, Christoph, we've, we've seen your prowess on screen as an actor, and now we've been able to see you uh, at, as a producer. Um, if you had to be a consultant in some other craft, what craft do you think that you have enough skills to be a consultant for, even if it's a DIY type thing? Like, what do you think you can consult somebody in? Wall Street. I'd consult at Wall Street. Okay. Because I'm I'm for for re-regulation, you know. I'll give them a hard time. <laughs> they they need that for sure. <laughs> how, how about you, Matt? It's a great question. Um, I'm not sure I have expertise in anything else, which is probably why. Oh, I, would... I have no expertise at all. But uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he just passed off wasn't an expert in game, and he still figured it out. Yeah, I don't know, Tony. What about you? I'd, I'd, I'd work for a toy company. That's what, you know, that's my dream job. So I would just sit around and play with toys all day. It, I wouldn't get any work done, but I'd consult for them happily. Yeah. <laughs> it wouldn't differentiate you from any other consultant, yeah. No, as well. <laughs> um, in, this, in this show, I mean, I, I guess the time of the, of the show, because I know y'all worked on it way before, just it seems so similar to what we've seen happening with the with the Twitter takeover and, uh, and and somebody else like were, were y'all surprised to see that element in real life in real time just kind of fall into place as y'all begin to prepare for the release of this show Musk is copying us <laughs> he should come up with his own stuff you know shows you tells you a thing or two about this guy yeah Musk copying from Bezos anyway yeah Matt um, the the landscape has changed on on television. I mean, you've been behind some of the best of television, The Boys, Succession. I mean, you have like a, a long list of great shows from Psych to everything else. But as streaming has become uh, more popular, uh, how has it changed for you as a producer? I mean, like the economics and everything else. How, how has the how has the business changed for you um, that you could sum up for, for us right here? It's a great question. As a storyteller, I feel like I can tell much more complex stories now. Things used to be in silos, right? You had medical shows and police shows and dramas and comedies. And now we have the chance to do things that are a mix of so many different tones and styles. Um, very much like theater, which I come from. And I, I do a lot of plays and I love that too. Theater has been doing that for a long time. Um, and also certainly the scope and scale of what we can do on television, you know, Game of Thrones, other things like that have certainly pushed what cinema can look like on the small screen. And so now we're able to be more ambitious in the kind of worlds that we build on television. Um, you know, a long time ago, you could never shoot something in widescreen anamorphic and put it on television. And we did that for the consultant and it wasn't even difficult to push that through at all. We were able to pick the right format, the right way to present it, to see how people worked in this big office environment using the, the format to help tell that story. And that would have been a problem if we were trying to make a TV show on NBC 20 years ago. Yeah. Uh, Tony, I, I know as, as writers, uh, sometimes you write scripts and, and don't know who the players will be and everything else. How does it change when you know you have Christoph Waltz and he has such uh, a, a, a great style and ambiance on screen? Like, as a writer, do, I mean, do, how much do you go back and rewrite or, or manipulate to fit um, an actor such as Christoph? Well, absolutely didn't have to go back and fit anything to suit Chris. You know, Christoph takes on what's there and, you know, presents it to us. So, yeah, I mean, obviously there was no idea when I was writing the pilot who would be playing that role. I didn't have anyone in mind. And it wasn't until Matt and I sat down and talked about the scripts and talked about casting that, you know, the name Christoph was floated and then we got very excited about it, about the possibilities of it. So, <clears throat> yeah, there was never really kind of writing with Christoph in mind. I think, you know, when you have good actors, you don't do that. You don't have to play to their strengths and weaknesses. You you let, you let just wait to see what they bring. And, you know, that's really with Christoph. We were, you know, we kind of trusted in him and 
he trusted in us. And yeah. Yeah. Well, I couldn't imagine anybody else playing that role and you did it. Nor could I. Thank you. (laughs) I appreciate your time. And uh, we need you on Wall Street, Christoph. So please uh, see if you can get some side time between movies and, 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 and series to regulate Wall Street because we can use that. (laughs) Right. I'll do my best. (laughs) Thank you, guys.